This happened when I was alone with the cool girl on the top of the roof during lunchtime. Hey, can you do the thing? Oh, okay. Sitting like this makes me feel safe. I really like it. R really? I'm glad you like it. <laughs> this position is a little uncomfortable for me, though. My name is Ryoto Oyamada, a sophomore in high school. I'm a typical nerd. My only noticeable feature is my height. And the number one cool girl, Aya Ayano, sits right behind me for some reason. Hey, Duto, can you sit up straight? I can't nap if you don't block the teacher's view. Really? But I was trying to give you a better view of the board. I try to avoid Aya as much as possible. She gets a little bit too close to me, and it makes me feel uncomfortable. For example... Hey, Duto, I need some shade for my selfie. Can you stand... Mm, there for me? What? This is your chance to use your height to help someone. Oh, and don't slouch. Um, okay. I don't get her. Maybe she's just using me for my height? Aya spends most of her break with the other cool girls. So my college boyfriend's thing is like this big. It's not gonna fit. <laughs> Plus it makes stuttering noises. <laughs> Your boyfriend just got it, didn't he? I bet you can't deal with it when he gets behind you. Hey, Aya, if you're gonna ride, wouldn't you rather ride one that's big? I'm fine if it's small. I mean, Daddy's is the perfect size for me. Ugh, why are they talking like that? They're just talking about cars. Why are they avoiding using the word car? Oh, yeah. Aya, you just updated your Insta, didn't you? Why don't you ever show your boyfriend's face? I like keeping it a secret. He's a student here, right? <gasps> Who is it? Is he a senior? It's a secret. Does she have a boyfriend? It would be weird if a hot girl like that didn't have a boyfriend, I guess. Those girls are so loud at school. I never get to relax. But I can finally relax when I pick up my sister. Yuka! Did you wait long? Yuta! Were you a good girl today? Guess what I did today? All my fatigue melts away when I pick her up. She may be a girl, but she's nothing like those cool girls. Oh yeah, I'm boyfriend girlfriend with Takashi now. What? Boyfriend girlfriend? <laughs> We're lovey dovey. Oh wow, that's great. Even little kids like them are dating. And here I am, single as ever. My little sister has a boyfriend. I'm in shock, but I'm sure it's nothing serious. You should get a girlfriend, too. Uh, 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 I will, eventually. Don't you like anybody? As soon as Yuka said that, I thought of Aya Ayano. She makes me feel a little uncomfortable, and she is a boyfriend, but she is very cute. Uh, but uh, I'm just a nerd. What's wrong? What's just a nerd? And the next day... Futa, it's P.E., but I forgot my gym clothes. Can you lend me your gym shirt? Uh... Why do you want to borrow mine? The guys have health class right now, right? I'll wash it and give it back to you. Hurry up. Uh, really? I reluctantly lend her my gym shirt. Wow, it's so big! Aya wearing gym clothes that were too big on her was... Kinda cute. Yeah, uh, I'm a 3XL, so should we ask someone else? No, I want... I, I mean, I, I'm fine with this. I am blushing with such a cute sight. Her boyfriend is such a lucky guy. The next day. Duto, here you go. Oh, thanks. She didn't say much, but there was a thank you note and candy in the bag. I know she's a good person on the inside. A few days later... The weather was nice, so I went up to the rooftop and had lunch there. And while I was enjoying the sunlight... Yuta? What are you doing here? Aya? Why are you here? Why? I came here to chill. And you're in my spot. Oh, sorry. I'll get out of your way. Hey, that's okay. Actually, don't move at all. Excuse me. Whoa! Wait, what? Aya suddenly sat down right in front of me. I need a backrest, so wake me up when the bell rings, okay? I'm gonna take a nap. What? 
Aya leaned into me and fell asleep right there. A little while later. She really fell asleep. It was an awkward situation, but I don't know what to do. What if her boyfriend finds out? Oh, I can't let anyone see us like this. Aside from my worries, a faint hint of citrus tickled my nose. It must be her shampoo. What's happening? This feels... this is really awkward. Next thing I knew, I saw Aya started falling towards her left. Whoa there. I accidentally hugged her to keep her from falling, but isn't this really weird? How did I end up holding her so close to me? But I can't let her fall. Oh, what should I do? I need to wake her up. But how am I going to explain this situation to her? As I worried about what I will say to me when she wakes up, the bell rang. Uh oh, that's the end of lunch. Come on, we need to get back to class. Uh, right. Come on, Yuto. Hurry up and stand up. She offered her hand to me. I couldn't help but feel a little awkward taking her hand. Taking Yuka's hand doesn't bother me, so why does taking her hand make me nervous? Ugh. Swallowing my anxiety, I slowly took her hand. Then... Oops! Oh no! Sorry about that! I was too heavy for Aya to pull up. Instead, she fell on top of me, and we ended up in a posture like we were hugging. Are you okay? If we don't go now, we'll be late. Yeah, I know, but can we stay like this for a little bit? We stayed like that for five minutes. We both ended up being late for class, but I couldn't explain why I was late to the teacher. Huh? Why do you smell like a lady, Ryuto? <laughs> what? What What are you talking about? You, you're wrong, Yuka. Where did you learn that phrase from anyway? When Mommy smelled Daddy's jacket, she said that, and Daddy said the same thing you just said. I shouldn't have asked. It's stupid ass, Dad. I sat in my room, and I tried to process what happened today. Why would she do something like that when I'm not even her boyfriend? Ugh. What is she thinking? What's happening to your brother? That's what's called the pain to be in love, Mommy. When I finally calmed myself down, I decide to stay away from Aya from now on. Doesn't hugging her like this bother her? Or is she too cool to let this bother her? And the next day? Yuto, lend me your gym clothes again. Um, sorry, I, uh, didn't bring it today. I might need a backrest again today. I'm still not done with my homework for the next class, so I need to work on that. I kept making excuses and stayed away from Aya. But contrary to my efforts, my head was full of thoughts about Aya. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about her so much. Then, one day, my lack of sleep finally got to me, and I fainted during class. Uh, uh. Dito! Oh my gosh, what happened? Are you okay? I woke up in a bed at the nurse's office. Are you awake? It looks like you fainted from a lack of sleep. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Young people still need to sleep, you know. Go on and sleep for a little bit longer. After the school nurse left the room, I laid in bed and thought about Aya. Why does she try and spend time with a guy like me? It's so weird. As I tried to figure out why, I pulled out my phone. She does have Instagram. I wonder what her boyfriend looks like. I think her username was something like Aya Aya. Uh, found it! Wow, so many followers. I guess it makes sense for a girl with looks like that. A selfie with my boyfriend! He's a shy boy, so <laughs> I need to hide his face. As I looked through her Instagram pictures, I noticed something. Huh? Why does this guy seem so familiar? I tried on his gym shirt. It's so big! Wow, she's cute. Wait! That's my gym shirt! Her Instagram was full of pictures with me in it. But why? Suddenly, the door opened and Aya came in. Ryuto, are you feeling better? I put my phone away and pretended to be asleep. You're asleep, right? <laughs> what the heck? Why is she smelling me? Aya started to smell me around the neck area. 
I can feel her breath tickling my neck. <sighs> Do those smell so nice? She has a smelling fetish? I haven't had enough time with Yuto lately. I can't hold myself back anymore. It's super embarrassing for the one being smelled, you know? Thankfully, I didn't realize I was awake, but her actions gradually escalated. Until finally... You're asleep, right? Just a little bit. Mm. My ear! She started nibbling on my ear! I felt goosebumps all over my body, but I kept myself still. <laughs> then, she said the most shocking thing. <sighs> you know, I really like you, Ruto. What? I likes me? But you probably hate me. I'm such a liar around you. But I keep acting like you're my boyfriend to show off. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ruto. As I confessed quietly, she put her head on top of my stomach. Hey, Duto, what do you think about me? <sighs> oh, what am I supposed to do here? I had kept her head on top of my stomach for a while. Five minutes later, the nurse came back, but I had kept her head on top of my stomach. <laughs> I've been a nurse for too long to be tricked, you know. I can tell when someone is faking their sleep. Oh, uh, um, I'm sorry about that. You guys are so young. Mm, I love it. Ms. Ayano came to check up on you, huh? I'm not sure. Maybe. You know, she was the one to come get me after you fainted. She was so worried about you. I wonder what she would say if I told her I was here to smell me and bite my ear. I bet she would freak out. So, are you guys dating? No, we're not. I could have just said that and ended it there, but... I is my girlfriend. I mean, I hope she will be, or something like that. <laughs> so that means you like her, right? Yes, I do. But <sighs> she's so out of my league. Even if I ask her out, I bet she'll just say no. <laughs> you never know. Why don't you ask her when she wakes up? I found out later. Aya was actually awake, and she was listening to me the whole time. She missed her chance to wake up, and accidentally heard my confession. Why would you say that you like me right now? Oh, this was such a stupid idea. Why am I so stupid? After that, I became so ashamed of myself for avoiding Aya, even though she had feelings for me the whole time. But if we both feel that way, then maybe one day... Hey, Duto, when I sit like this with you, I feel happy. Me too. I mean, never mind. Maybe we need a little bit more time to begin a relationship, but I know we're getting closer. One step at a time. My name is Taku Nijima. I'm currently in my second year of high school, and I have zero friends. There's nothing special or outstanding about me in particular, but I guess you could say that loners like me are a rare specimen. No, oh, it's a school entrance ceremony. Lucky them. I was looking out of the classroom window with envy as I watched the freshmen walking around on school grounds. The only reason that I'm a loner is because I failed to make friends during the first few days of high school. Back when I was still in middle school, I swore to myself to become a popular kid in high school. I made sure to stay in the circle by studying the recent fads thoroughly. Honestly, I thought it would be a piece of cake. However, the day before school started, I got in an accident trying to save a girl who was about to be hit, and I was hospitalized for over a month. By then, everyone had already formed their groups. So, naturally, I got off to a late start, and I was all alone. Things just dragged on from then, and I became a certified loner. An entire year passed like that, and now, I was in my second year as a loner. I guess I'll just have to hope things go better in college. I've had enough time to come to terms with my current situation. I've heard that in college, everyone has a chance to get a girlfriend. I was thinking such things when suddenly, my phone vibrated in my pocket. Uh huh? I checked my phone. It was a message from my best friend from middle school named Akira. Hey, Taku. Which class are you in? What do you mean? 
I thought it was weird that my best friend who was in a different school wanted to know which class I was in. I was confused and a little scared. I wasn't sure if I should answer honestly or not. Oh, well, to be. There you go. I figured I'd just thank him with my steel bat if he misunderstood that info. Whoa! Who's that cute girl? Holy crap! You're right! Wait! I think she might be a freshman! Suddenly, there was a lot of commotion by the entrance. I got curious and turned to look. Hmm... She looks... familiar. Judging from the color of her ribbon, she was probably a freshman. She had sexy, smooth, and wavy long hair. Her innocent and cute yet beautiful face instantly attracted the attention of the people in the class. She seemed like she was looking for someone. I have a feeling I've seen her before, but I'm probably mistaken. A loner like myself usually assumes that people aren't there to see them. The only times that we get called upon is by the teacher when we're in some sort of trouble. It's sad, but true. Uh, I swear I'm gonna do better in college. Oh, senpai. The girl seemed to have found who she was there for while I was feeling sorry for myself. I heard cute footsteps closing in on me, and... Long time no see, senpai. Huh? For some reason, she stopped in front of me. Who are you? She did seem faintly familiar, but sadly, my memory drive didn't have the name of a cute girl like her saved in it. You don't remember me? All I can say is that you look familiar. It's me, Sarakizaki, Akira's little sister. Huh? What? You're Akira's sister? My friend has a younger sister. I had met her a few times when I was over to hang out with him back in middle school. Now that she mentions it, she does look like Akira's sister. Okay. So that's why Akira asked me my class number. And that was really quick. I just responded seconds ago. And, on top of that, you've changed quite a bit. I don't remember you being so flashy. Oh, so you don't remember that day, do you? Huh? What was that? Nothing. I'm just saying that you've changed too. Ah, uh, right. You're trying to say that I've become even more handsome, right? Would you like a soft and comforting response, or the painful truth? Well, you pretty much answered that question by asking it. Well, your looks aside, you're never the type to be a loner, senpai. What happened? Well, let's just say that I got off to a bad start. I see. I didn't think of it much when I answered her question, but she seemed a little gloomy for a second for some reason. But maybe I was just imagining things. It's not like it was her fault or anything. That's too bad. Well, I guess this adorable lower classman of yours is going to have to give a helping hand. All right. You can take that hand, slowly unbutton your shirt, and slowly take it off. That would be great. Thanks. Don't be a creep, senpai. I just told her honestly what I wanted. That's all. Oh, I better get back to class. Yeah. You should. All right then, goodbye. See you later, senpai. Sarah waved her hands at me as she left the classroom. She was so energetic, and it made me realize how long it had been since I had an uplifting interaction like that. Did she say, see you later? Was she planning on coming to hang out again? Nah, probably not. She probably said that because we might run into each other somewhere in school again. By the way, I feel like so many people are staring at me. After Sarah left, I could feel all the eyes on me. It felt so weird. It's not like I did anything. The next day. Let's eat lunch together, senpai. For some reason, Sarah was standing in front of me. What are you doing here? What do you mean, senpai? I told you I'd see you later, didn't I? I guess this is what she meant by that. Why don't you eat with your friends? Senpai, are you telling me to go back and beg my friends to let me join them after I just refused all of the invitations from them just to come eat lunch with you? You should have accepted their invitation. What was she doing here instead of eating with them? Are you trying to say that you don't want to eat lunch with a cute girl? Of course I want to! 
<laughs> then it's decided. Ah! She pretty much smooth-talked me into admitting it. Did she just make me admit to my subconscious desires to spend lunchtime with a girl? All right, then. Let's eat. I had no excuse to refuse left at this point. Wow. I didn't know that this place existed. Yep. Loners have a special ability to find quiet places like this. Not bad, right? Wow, what an amazing superpower, senpai! Why is it that I sense pity in your eyes? Anyways, I made my lunch today. Really? Wow! Would you like to try some? Sarah's lunch looked delicious. All I had was a cheap sandwich that I bought on the way to school. Obviously, I wanted to try some of her lunch. Who wouldn't, right? Yeah, looks good. Okay then, open wide! Huh? Why is she trying to feed me? But this may be the last time that a girl ever tries to hand feed me. My inexperienced inner voice was telling me that this was a chance that I couldn't pass up. Ah! I pushed my embarrassment to the side and ate the Japanese omelet that she shared with me. How is it? Very good. Uh, oh, I'm glad to hear it. She seemed slightly embarrassed when I complimented her. <laughs> that was more embarrassing than I thought. Hey, you're the one that did it. Well, I wanted to, all right? I had no idea why she was doing all this for me. How odd. I don't think I've done anything for her to be treated like this. When I returned from lunch, I could feel everyone's eyes on me. She came to see me two days in a row. And we were eating lunch together. I could sense the curiosity in the air. Well, let me just say this. If you're all so curious, why don't you just come over and talk to me for once? After school, it started pouring. Ah, uh, it's raining. It was so sunny during lunch, though. Most of the students came prepared with umbrellas. That must mean that this weather was expected. For all of you out there that don't pay attention to the weather forecast, I recommend that you do. I had to learn the hard way. Man, what should I do? What are you doing here, senpai? As I stood there, contemplating my next move, Sarah approached me from behind. Why weren't you there when I came to find you in your classroom? I wasn't expecting you, that's why. I was surprised to know that she came by my class, even after school. What are you doing just standing there, though? Well, I forgot to bring an umbrella. I'm stuck here for now. <sighs> Seems like you didn't check the weather this morning. Yeah, stupid me. I would have brought one if only I knew. I guess I was stuck at school to wait out the rain. <laughs> I have some great news for you, senpai. Ta-da! I have an umbrella. Way to rub it in. What happened to the good news she was just bragging to me? That's not what I meant, senpai. I was offering to walk you home in my umbrella. What? I'm pretty sure that she just offered me to share an umbrella with her. Is this a chance for an inexperienced, friendless boy like me to do all those things that lovey-dovey couples do? Not only that, with such a cute girl! Two super lucky experiences in the same day! Today must be my lucky day! Sounds good! Please, let me join you, Miss Sarah. Senpai, your face? Don't get so excited about sharing an umbrella. Yikes! Oops! I wonder what my face looked like just now. Someone hand me a mirror, please. I can't remember the last time I shared an umbrella with a girl. Yeah, because it's probably your first time. Hmm, yeah. I guess that's one way of putting it. But are we supposed to be locking arms when we share umbrellas? Uh, duh. Hmm, I looked around. There came students sharing umbrellas, but nobody was locking arms. Well, there were way more students walking alone in the first place. Why am I not convinced? And I thought sharing umbrellas was what couples do. Either that or... Does Sarah have a crush on me? No, 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 no. Calm down, Taku. Jumping to conclusions like that is just a typical characteristic of an unpopular kid. This is just a kind gesture towards a person who forgot their umbrella. That's all. What are you mumbling about over there? Don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. And the next day. Senpai, I feel like you owe me for letting you share my umbrella with me. Okay, but 
Let me address the fact that you're eating lunch with me again today. Of course I am. Of course, huh? So, you mentioned that I owe you. And I'm thankful, so I would like to show my appreciation somehow. I'm free today, you know. So, let me come over after school. My house? I don't mind if she comes over. I don't have any rules that forbid guests, and I have games and other things to kill time. However, my parents don't come home until late, though. Perfect! How so? Hello! She's really here! My parents weren't there to watch over us. We were completely alone. Not that I had any plans to do anything like that, but I was a little concerned about Sarah's lack of danger avoidance skills. You should be more careful, Sarah, considering how pretty you are. What? What is it all of a sudden? It's not like I just go and visit any random boy's house. Well, I guess I just seem harmless. Not sure if I should feel flattered or sad about that. So, what should we do? Hmm. All I have is games. Sorry, I don't have any of those fashion magazines that girls like. Why would I come all the way over here to read fashion magazines? Let's play games. Something we can play together. All right, then. Ha! Hiya! Not today! <laughs> Not bad, senpai. But I don't plan to lose to you. Young Padawan, you'll need more training to defeat me. Bring it on! No! I don't believe it! <laughs> My big brother has the same game, and I've gotten plenty of practice! How frustrating! I can't believe I lost to this girl! Ah, feels so good to beat you, senpai! Oh, look at the time. Oh, are you going home? I'll walk you. Nope. I've already told my parents that I'll be eating dinner at your house today. I was never notified about this. What were your plans for dinner tonight, senpai? I was planning on eating out. Wait, why are you wearing an apron? Do I really have to explain? This cute lower classman of yours is going to prepare dinner for you, senpai. What? Why is Sarah doing all this for me? Maybe it's normal for a girl to make dinner for a guy friend that she's close with. But it's not like we go back that far. And she came all alone. And now she's about to make dinner? Something's off here. It's almost as if we're a couple living together. Dinner's ready, senpai. Yum. Oh, really? I'm glad you like it. It tasted delicious. I couldn't stop eating. But something just didn't sit right. The entire situation just felt so odd. Are we really just friends? There's more if you want, senpai. Yes, please. <laughs> We're kind of like a married couple, don't you think? <coughs> she mentioned that right when I was thinking about it, and I almost choked on my food. About a month passed after that. Let's go eat lunch on the roof again, senpai. We would eat lunch every day when we had school. Let's walk home together, senpai. Can I come over again, senpai? I'll prepare dinner for you again if you let me. We walked home together pretty much every day, and we would hang out at my house and eat dinner together often. Something's going on here. I mean, every day? That's gotta mean something, right? Yeah, we may not be dating, but there's gotta be chemistry here, right? Not like I've had any female friends, but still. Even if we're good friends, every day sounds a little extreme. This has to be closer to something approximating a romantic relationship. But we aren't a couple yet, which brings me to the most natural conclusion. Sarah must have a crush on me, but I want to confirm. I know, I'm gonna try to hug her from behind once. If she doesn't resist and enjoys it, that means I was right. Hey, <laughs> not a bad idea if I do say so myself. I got up and walked towards Sarah, who was cooking me dinner in the kitchen. Hey, Sarah. What is it, senpai? I'm almost done, so... Excuse me real quick. I gently held her from behind. She had a sweet smell. I could feel her soft and delicate body and her long and silky black hair. No, no. This is no time to be enjoying her physical features. Like I said, this is just for confirmation. I'll apologize for it later. So... What's it gonna be? Huh? I peeked over her shoulder to take a look at her face and noticed that tears were rolling down Sarah's cheeks. What the? It was the last thing I expected. All I could do was freeze in place. Sen... Bye. I'm sorry! 
Hey, wait! No, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to make you cry! I told her honestly why I decided to hug her. What were you thinking, senpai? I know. I'm a fool. Sarah stopped crying after hearing me out. I rubbed my forehead to the floor to sincerely apologize to her. Hmm, fine. I understand. It does seem like this was partially my fault. No, not at all. I'm so sorry. I didn't think that you'd hate it so much that you'd cry. I truly felt bad. It's not that I hated it. Huh? I don't! I do like you, senpai! Huh? But you cried because you didn't like it, right? No, it was just so sudden. I, I was just a little scared. I've never been in a situation like that with another boy. That was unexpected. I mean, she was so cute that all the boys were always looking at her after all. I would have expected her to have had some experience at least. But that aside... Wait! You really like me? Why do you sound so surprised? You hugged me because that's what you thought, right? What kind of girl comes over to a boy's house every day that she doesn't even like and hangs out and makes dinner for him? And why do you think I chased after you and entered this high school? Okay, but there's nothing so likable about me. I mean, look at me. I'm just a loner who has no friends. It's true that you're just a boring and pathetic loner. I wasn't expecting you to defend me or anything, but... I just want to put it out there that those blatant words were quite hurtful. But you've always been such a nice person, Senpai. You even saved me from getting in an accident. Huh? Oh! So that's why you've always looked familiar! You're that girl from the accident! When I first met her at school, I thought I remembered her because she was Akira's sister. But now that I think about it, she's that girl that I saved right before I entered high school. Well, I've told you so much now. Might as well tell you exactly how I feel. I like you, senpai. Will you be my boyfriend? Wow. I'm so flattered to be asked out by such a cute girl. And plus, it was so much fun spending time with her. I wouldn't have spent so much time with her otherwise. It made me want to spend the rest of my life with her. I love you too, Sarah. Really? Yeah. Hey. We're allowed to hug now, right? Yeah, you're not catching me off guard now. My heart was melting. This must be what it feels like to be in love. There were some misunderstandings and lines that were crossed. But in the end, we were able to share our true feelings. I never would have expected things to turn out this way. The spring of my sophomore year, my best friend's sister came into my class, and... I love you, senpai! We became a couple. I'm Shinji Kamiyama. I'm in my second year in high school. I have a childhood friend who I met in grade school who happens to be a girl. Oh, you're on your own, Shinji? So sad. Sadly, we're not really on good terms. What? It's just lunch. I can eat it on my own. Cuz, you don't have any friends. Ugh. Nor a girlfriend. Might as well put that in there, too. Ugh. Since I was a child, I never had any qualities that stood out. Neither did I have many friends. I'm always in the corner of the classroom on my own, and this childhood friend keeps making fun of me. Her name is Mikoto Hora. She has great looks, but as you see, she's got terrible personality. Phew. Why are you sitting down right in front of me? You're giving me secondhand embarrassment, so I decided to give you some company. I never asked for that. You always have the same bento. And that's not a problem. By the way, I make my own bento. Do you want me to make one for you too? Nope. Stop acting tough. You've never eaten something a girl cooked, huh? <laughs> Out of nowhere, she started insulting me. Watch this. I have. I eat that all the time. Huh? But why are you bringing convenience store bentos every single day to school? She cooks for me at home. Hmm? What do you mean at home? Are you telling me that you have a girlfriend? Yes, I am. Huh? N no way. You're just trolling me. You're never going to get a girlfriend. It's not a lie. 
What's more, she often comes over to stay for the night. <gasps> for the night? Exactly, so stop making fun of me. S staying over the night? Out of nowhere? Exactly, so stop teasing me, okay? Uh huh? I thought she would continue arguing with me, but... Never mind. I'm home. Welcome back. Oh, you're here again? What's that reaction? Aren't you happy that I'm here? I mean, you can come if you want, but you come every week. Because it's so comfy here. And it's just the two of us. Matsuri Yamakawa. For most of the time, my parents aren't home due to their jobs. Therefore, this woman who's a little older than me comes to chill in our house. And she is my girlfriend I was just talking about. <laughs> just kidding. Life isn't that easy. She's my cousin who's three years older than me. Okay, I'll cook dinner. Thanks. Here you go. That's all she can make. Cup noodles. I mean, she boils the water and pours it in, so technically you could say that I'm eating something that a girl cooked for me. Uh, maybe not. Shinji-kun, let's go to bed together. Th there are two futons, one for each. But we'll be parting ways tomorrow. We're going to miss each other. You'll be coming back in no time. Hmm, I have to start going to more classes at my university, so I actually might not be able to come for a while. What? You were skipping classes while staying here? Of course! Shinji-kun, you are way more important than my classes. Anyway, here. We are going to bed together. Hey, wait! Good night. Oh boy. Matsuri Nechan and I have been close to each other since we were children. She always treated me like a little brother. However, now that we have grown up, that can be problematic at times. I... I feel them. We've grown in many ways. I don't know what to do. See you. Alright, see you then. Next morning, Matsuri Nechan went home. If she was speaking the truth, she wouldn't be coming over to stay the night for a while. N no, I'm not feeling lonely. Okay, I'll prepare myself some lunch. Hmm? Did she forget something? Yes? Uh, hi. Huh? Mikoto? I'm coming in. What? Wait a minute. I see. What's up so suddenly? What are you doing here? I came here to check. Check what? Check if you actually have a, a girlfriend. Huh? What do you mean? I need to see some proof with my own eyes in order to believe what you said. She came over all the way just for that? And even if you had one, I'd have to check what kind of girl she is. Uh, huh? So, where is this girlfriend you were talking about? Um, you know... What should I do? She's definitely going to find out at some point. I don't have one. Huh? I'm telling you that it was all a lie. I don't have a girlfriend. Hmm... God, I feel pathetic. Now she's going to make fun of me. Sus. Huh? Was it really a lie? You must be hiding her from me because you don't want me to see her. N no way! Why would you be so skeptical? Hmm, this room is kind of sus. My instincts tell me that something isn't right. I can sense a girl. Wow, she's spot on. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm staying here for a few days. Huh? What? I know you live alone most of the time, so there shouldn't be a problem. Um, that's not the point. If you really don't have a girlfriend, you should be fine with it. I'm not going home until it's clear. What? Why would she take it so seriously? Does she really want to make sure that I don't have a girlfriend so that she can look down on me? Huh. <gasps> If I were to tell her about my cousin, she probably would understand. But then, I would feel embarrassed for pretending that my cousin was my girlfriend. In fact, cousins can get married in Japan, so telling her that would probably cause even more confusion. Understood. Now, I'll be going home to grab my sleepover set. Hey, are you serious? How did this happen? Well, Matsuri-chan won't be visiting for a while, so I guess it'll be fine. I'm back. Welcome home. You brought a lot more luggage than I imagined. Yep, I decided to stay for a week. 
A whole week? That's pretty long, isn't it? And, um, I brought some groceries. Huh? You haven't eaten dinner yet, right? I'll cook. Huh? Of course I'm not doing this for your sake. I bought everything that I personally wanted to eat. I'm just letting you eat because I'm cooking anyway. Whoa, that's impressive. Not bad, right? Thanks for the food. Uh, stare. Uh, delicious. B really? I'm glad to hear. I mean, of course it was. Who do you think cooked that? Mikoto, you're a great chef. Better than your girlfriend? Yes, indeed, because... Stare... Hey, I told you I don't have a girlfriend. Uh-huh. Those suspicious eyes, though. <laughs> Phew. At last, finally, I can relax by myself. I've been with people for the whole day. Sh Shinji, I'm coming in. Huh? W wait, this is the bath! I'm wearing a swimsuit, no problem. Well, why are you coming in? As I told you, I'm checking for any traits of a girlfriend, such as long a piece of hair. But you don't need to come in while I'm in here. You're so petty, what? You want me to get out? Uh, I didn't say that. Alright, no problem then, here. Hmm? I, I'll wash your back for you. What? Just because I'm at it, you know? Just because I'm at it. Not because I wanted to do a favor for you or anything. You don't need to do that much. Control. Control myself. Phew. Oh, finally, I can relax. Hmm. So this is where you go to bed with your girlfriend, huh? Whoa! Nope. No time for relaxing. I told you, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm going to bed too. Huh? What? There's no problem for me going to bed with you if you don't have a girlfriend. Um, I think there is. We're in high school. Of course there's a lot of problems to sleep together. Of course, taking a bath together was already a big problem. Not to mention, I also need to check the bed for any traits. Traits? Wait. Stare... Let's say that you're right, and there's no problem for us to go to bed together, but... By the way, she's wrong, but... Why are you clinging to me? It's such a small bed. I'm not sticking to you because I want to. <laughs> huh? I can smell a girl's smell. Huh? Oh no. I forgot that Matsuri Nechan just used the bed yesterday. Grr, suspicious! Uh. You're... kind of close. If this lifestyle went on for too long before she finds out about my cousin, I'm going to lose control. One week later... So you actually don't have a girlfriend, huh? I told you so many times. It seems like she's going to finally set me free. It was weird trying to convince someone that I had lied to them about something. Phew, <sighs> what a relief. What? You didn't want me to have a girlfriend so badly? Yes, is there a problem? No, I'm just confused. Huh? It's weird, isn't it? It's definitely not normal to go through all of that just to confirm if I have a girlfriend or not. Uh... At first, I thought you just wanted to look down on me, but... Staying at my house for one week? Sleeping in my bed? That can't be normal, right? Uh... That's because I... Huh? I... I have feelings for... What's up, Shinji-kun? I came to stay the night. <gasps> hmm? Who's this girl? Shinji, you're doomed. Uh... Worst timing ever. So? You're Shinji's girlfriend, are you? Huh? Girlfriend? You came to stay here, right? If you're not his girlfriend, what could... No, I'm not. Huh. Oh? Shinji-kun? Could you have been? Huh? <gasps> Telling other people that I'm your girlfriend? Oh my god! Huh? <gasps> well, wait! Let me go! Oh, you had a crush on me all the time, didn't you? I don't feel upset or anything, but you have to tell me the truth. Uh, no, Matsuri-one-chan, calm down. 
Matsuri Onechan? Hmm. Mm hmm. What's going on? I see. A cousin. <laughs> exactly. We've been close as if we were siblings since we were children. Hmm. So she's not your partner, is that right? I've been telling you so. I don't have a girlfriend. Such a pathetic guy. You've been lying that your cousin was your girlfriend? Ugh. Why didn't you just tell me so? That your cousin often comes to spend the night. Had you had done so, there wouldn't have been any of these misunderstandings. Well, you have a point, but once you found out about it, I knew you were going to make fun of me. Just like you're doing so right now. Alright, at least now I'm sure that you don't have a girlfriend. And why are you so happy about that? I'm happy because... <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind being your girlfriend. What? Huh? Matsuri o Why not? It's legal for cousins to get married. Besides, I like you, Shinji-kun. Shinji? Oh, wait a minute. That really came out of nowhere. But you like me, right? After all, we sleep in the same bed. Hmm, interesting. Mikoto-san, why do I hear boss music? Can't wait to go to bed with you tonight. I've been feeling lonely for the whole week. I'm staying too! Huh? You just said you were going home. I am staying here! <gasps> hmm, was it Mikoto-chan? Why don't you stop interrupting our precious time together? And why don't you let go of Shinji? You know it's pretty pathetic for an older cousin to be obsessed with the younger one. That's not true at all. Shinji-kun, you also feel lonely when Oned-chan isn't around, right? Well, it's true that I kind of do feel lonely on my own. What did you just say? <laughs> w what about me? Huh? You'd feel lonely if I left, right? Um... After all, we've been together for the whole time. Even when we were taking a bath. Not to mention when we were in bed. Th that is true, but the way you phrase it sounds... Wait, what was that? <gasps> hmm, when I'm not around, that's the kind of stuff you're up to, huh? Um, could both of you... What? what? Oh no, nothing. Farewell to my peaceful days. Apparently, I won't be getting any time to relax for a little while longer. My name is Toma Hasegawa. I'm an introvert that has never had a girlfriend or a friend before in my life. However, when I became a second year in university, I was finally able to get a girlfriend. Hey, Tomo, I want this. Oh, this? But I just bought you a bag last month. Oh, I'm sick of that bag already. I want a new one. Uh, okay. That's right. My first girlfriend ever. And I didn't know at all that it takes a lot of money to date a girl. Thanks to that, all of the money I saved up for my part-time job has been decreasing rapidly. Well, it can't be helped. I should work more. Huh? You have a girlfriend? That's right! <laughs> Are you jealous? <laughs> I happily reported the news to Hiromi Mashiro, a friend of mine in class. He was my only friend, and I didn't have anyone else to brag to. And by the way, he always sat in the back of class too, and I think he doesn't have any friends other than me either. <sighs> what, are you upset? Well, I'm sorry I left our single and lonely club. And who is this girl? Saika Yamakawa, from the same club as me. She told me a little while ago that she'd let me date her. Oh, uh, Sayaka Yamakawa, I see. Hmm, she's so late. It's now past 6 p.m. It was already our meeting time, but my girlfriend was nowhere to be seen. I had reserved an expensive restaurant that day upon Sayaka's request. I is she ditching me? It was already such an expensive restaurant for me to afford. It would be terrible if she didn't show up. 6.30 p.m. Oh, and there you are! Sayaka, you're finally here! Yo! Huh? Why is Hiromi here too? Wait! Why are you two holding arms? Oh yeah, I decided to go out with Hiromi! What? 
So, can you cancel the reservation for today's restaurant? <laughs> See you then! B wait a minute! That's so sudden! Why? Did I do something that made you hate me? Oh, it's not that I hate you now. I didn't like you from the beginning anyway. You just seemed easy to handle, so I thought I might use you a bit. That's all. What? Dear Naomi, you're, you're kidding, right? You would never take someone's girlfriend, would you? Well, I guess you had poor judgment. I trust in you! Hiromi is so different from an introvert like you. He knows what girls like, and he has money, too. So, that's how it is. See ya, Tomo. Wait! We aren't finished talking yet! Is this... possible? Hmm? A notification of reservation cancellation? Did I could do that? So I don't have to worry about the cancellation fee, then. I guess this is the only good news I have out of this situation. Uh, I'm going home. I just wanted to leave this place as soon as possible. Shit. What a terrible Friday. I lost my friend and my girlfriend all in one night. I wish I could just disappear. Hey, you! Gentleman over there? Hmm? What's wrong? You look like you're about to die any time. What's up with this girl? Why is she talking to me suddenly? Well, ugh, whatever. I don't have the energy and heart to talk to anyone right now. Did something bad happen? Hey, hello? She's so persistent. <sighs> what is it? Oh, you finally replied. Huh? Uh when I took a good look at her, she was quite cute. Wait, I was just dumped. What the hell am I talking about? What do you want from me? Oh, my name is Mihiro. I didn't ask. I mean, you were walking around with a real tired face, so I got a little worried. Well, thanks. So? So? What happened? <sighs> Nothing. My girlfriend dumped me, that's all. Oh, we're the same then. Mm-hmm. Hmm, it just so happens that my boyfriend that I was living with cheated on me. He, um, dumped me just now. I just ran away from home a little while ago. Uh, oh, I see. Coincidentally, she and I were in similar circumstances, having both being cheated on. Although that made me feel closer to her, it was a terrible reason to feel that way. Well, it's perfect then. Let me sleep over at your house. What? It's okay, right? We were both dumped. Let's make each other feel better. I have nowhere to go, you know. That, that's too sudden. Okay, <laughs> then. Let's go. Uh, wait. <laughs> Let me heal your heart scars. What? Uh, wow, it's cleaner than I imagined. Thanks. As a result... I ended up bringing her to my house, after she basically forced me to do so. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's wrong? I feel like I've met you somewhere. Uh, what? I didn't notice while we were walking down the dark streets, but I feel like I know her face from somewhere. Uh, no, 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 no. You're just mistaken. Is that so? Well, I guess it's my mistake. I would have never forgotten such a beautiful face like hers if I had met her somewhere before. Whoa! <laughs> what do you think? You're great at cooking, huh? Right? Eat up then. Yeah, thanks! <laughs> it's like we just got married. <laughs> Stop saying weird things! Here, I'll feed you. Say, ah. It, it's okay! Th this girl is, is... No matter how similar our circumstances were, it was strange how she was so pushy and confident. I wonder why. Phew. I'm coming in! Whoa! <laughs> were you waiting? I wasn't waiting for anything! You're lying. I know you were expecting something. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? You're letting me sleep over, so I should thank you properly. Hey! 
get out! Here, I'll wash your back for you. Should I wash the front, too? It's fine! <laughs> she, she really... What is this girl thinking about? Phew, it was refreshing, wasn't it? Uh, I was nowhere near refreshed. Rather, my head was getting cloudier and cloudier. Oh, yeah, you only have one bed, right? Hmm? Yeah, of course. I live alone, so... <laughs> then let's sleep together. What? What? If you get too close to me like that... <laughs> the bed's so small, I can't help it. <gasps> well, you don't have to tangle your legs with mine. Thank you. For today. <laughs> Good night, Tomo. Yeah. Good night. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm sleeping in the same bed with another girl after getting dumped by my very first girlfriend. <sighs> oh, wait. Did I introduce myself to her today? Good morning. G Whoa! Ooh, th th that surprised me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had her over at my house since last night. It was such an unreal day. And seeing my circumstances now in the morning, I guess it wasn't a dream after all. <sighs> I'm still sleepy. How long are you planning on sleeping? Wake up already. But it's Sunday today. <gasps> right, a Sunday. It's our day off, so we have to go out. Huh? Come on, hurry up and get ready to leave. Time is ticking. This is just so sudden. <laughs> Do you have other plans? No, I didn't have any plans, but... Then it's decided. Let's go. Okay, fine. Where shall we go then? We've got a problem. Honestly, I was already short on money for the month. Even though she's excited to go out, I can't take her anywhere special. Oh, it's such great weather. Oh, let's go for a walk at the park. Huh? Oh, the wind feels great. Yeah, the park. Is she okay with a place like this? Well, I guess it's okay. It doesn't cost any money either. Oh, hey, look over there. There are a couple too. Huh? I know. Let's hold hands, too. What? Come on. All the couples are holding hands here. We'll stand out if we don't. I don't think we have to worry about that. Oh, whoa! There we go. <laughs> Let's go ride the swing and play like we're kids again. Oh, okay. Whew. That was quite a bit of exercise. I'm tired. Hey, aren't you hungry? Want to eat soon? Uh... Oh no, this is not good. Currently, in my wallet, I don't have any big paper money. I don't have enough to eat out. Mm, then let's go there, okay? Hmm? Thank, Thank you, you for, for the, the food. food. I love the mixed grill here. A family dinner? Uh, are you sure this is okay? You can come here anytime. Huh? Uh, what's wrong, Tomo? You weren't hungry? Um... Are you having fun, Mihito? Uh, you're not having fun, Tomo? No, it's not that, but we went to the park and then a family dinner. It isn't anywhere special, and I was worried if you're okay with something like this. <sighs> what is it? I don't know what in the world made you think like that, but what's important isn't where you go, but who you go with. Uh, who you go with? Huh? That's right. I'll have fun anywhere as long as I'm with you, Tomo. <laughs> She's really something different. It's only been one day since we met. I didn't understand how she could say this much about me. And me, too. I was just dumped by my girlfriend the other day. How can I fall in love with someone else already? All right. I'll see you around. Huh? I have work tomorrow, so I'll go back to my apartment today. Oh, what about your ex? 
Oh, uh, uh, it seems like he just left the house already. I have to clean my things, too. Uh, you know, I just ran out of the house last night, so... When I thought about it, it was only normal. We couldn't suddenly start living together permanently. But somewhere inside, I felt like life was going to go on like that. So I'll leave for today. Mihiro! Mm-hmm? Um, we will meet again, right? <laughs> we'll see about that. <gasps> I want to meet you again. Tomo. You might say my feelings have changed too easily, but I I'm in love with you, Mihiro. Uh <laughs> I won't say anything like that, because I think I fell in love with you first, Tomo. <laughs> then... But for today, I must leave. See you again, Tomo. Wait a minute. I don't even have your number. <laughs> It'll be fine. We'll meet very soon, okay? Oh, uh, okay. She liked me too. Ah, we'll meet very soon, huh? I wonder when that will be. Ah, uh, I can't concentrate at all on my lectures. Oh, there you are, Tomo. T Sayaka! I'm sorry about the other day. Hey, wanna go on a date today to make up for that? Why all of a sudden? What happened to Hiromi? Uh, I would never date a guy with such a terrible personality like his. After that incident, he said to me, I would never date you. Did you think I was for real? I was only messing with you. He said that. Can you believe it? H Hiromi did. Hey, I'm sorry. I was wrong, so take me out on a date again? Don't do it! Uh. Tomo, you don't have to go out with a girl like this. She's only thinking about using men and getting them to do things for her. You're way too good for her. Huh? What's wrong with you? You're the one who ripped us apart, and now you're giving me a lecture? <sighs> First of all, what right do you have to say that? Unfortunately, I do have a say. Huh? Uh. Tomo is my boyfriend. I won't allow other girls to lay a finger on him. Y y y you're a... You said something about how I understood girls very well, remember? Of course I understand them. I'm a girl myself. And you must be really stupid to fall for someone without even realizing whether they're a girl or a guy, huh? Uh, what? Well... You're only thinking about how to use other people's money. It's only natural your brains don't work properly. Uh, uh, um... What? What do you mean, what? According to Hiromi, guys were hitting on her from the first day of university. She found it so annoying that she decided to dress up as a guy. With that, she was able to avoid such situations. I didn't necessarily mean to fool you. It was just that I found life easier dressing up in boy clothes. I liked you this whole time because you were nice to me no matter what kind of clothes I was dressed in. Oh! And yet, you were so easily fooled by that gold digger girl. I, I couldn't help it! I never had a girlfriend before in my life! And you had such a beautiful girl next to you this whole time. Way to be modest! Apparently out of jealousy towards Sayaka. Hiromi started investigating her. During the process, she only heard bad rumors about Sayaka and decided to put this plan in action. Hmm. What? What is it? If I hadn't come in time, would you have gotten back with her? Of course not! I only have eyes for you now, Hiromi. Oh! <laughs> okay then. Wait, didn't you say you were living with your boyfriend? Huh? Of course, that's just a lie. And <laughs> jeez, that's why you didn't even realize I'm a girl. When I got home from drinking at midnight... Huh? The door is open. What?! Why is Chief Kazuma lying down in my entrance hall?! Um, Chief? This is my house. No sign of waking up. Chief! Pull yourself together! Huh? Hayama? Yes. It's Eita Hayama. Oh, Hayama. What were you trying to do with me while I was asleep? <laughs> I wasn't going to do anything! Please, just wake up and don't hug me! No. Uh, 
I want to feel you more. She's so drunk. I need to do something about this. I'll... I'll do lots of lewd stuff on you if you, you don't wake up. Please, do me. Um, I was only joking. Why is she so up for it? At least sleep on a bed! I want to sleep with you. You sleep here with me. I want you here. You sound like a child! I can't, so please, let go! I was struggling to get her, Mika Kazuma, my boss, to let go and sleep, and... I fell asleep next to her. <laughs> uh, where am I? What did I... Huh? Why is Hayama sleeping next to me? <laughs> did I do it with Hayama? What have I done? What? What are you... Uh, poor boss. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Don't catch them all! Huh? Where did my pork buns go? How do you think you are sleeping? Oh, Chief. Good morning. Ouch. Yeah, so you were just lying in my entrance hall. R right I see. So, nothing happened. I'm so relieved. But why were you here anyways? How did you get in? Did you pick the lock? I don't have that kind of skill. No, it's your bag. What? My bag? Wait, did I? Yeah, after we went drinking yesterday. Come on, Hayama. Let's go to the next place. Oh no, Hayama forgot his bag. Hayama went home earlier. He forgot his wallet and his keys. He must have been very drunk. I'll call him then. It's ringing in the bag. I'll go after him, so you guys go ahead. And so, I looked up your address that was on your insurance card and came here. And I got into your house, but... The boo started to kick in, and I... <laughs> that must have been rough. Better luck next time. The way you say it is annoying. Whose fault do you think it is? But thank you, Chief. I'm relieved that nothing happens to you. What do you mean? I'm a guy, so I'm fine not being able to get into my house. But you are a lady, so you need to be careful where you walk around at night drunk. Yeah, I'll be careful. I know. Why don't you take a shower before you go home, as an apology? Why, thank you. I still smell a little like alcohol, so that would be nice. I have my sister's clothes that you can borrow. Your sister's? She comes and stays sometimes. Do you want to borrow her underwear as well? No, thank you. Why am I sharing at his house? I can't remember anything after coming here, but I hope I didn't do anything weird. But anyways, that was very embarrassing as a boss. I need to be careful not to drink too much again. It's already lunchtime, so I might as well make something for her. I think I have some stuff I made in the fridge. I wonder if my boss is showering at my house. I mean, I'm the one that offered her to shower, but... Eita, would you like to join me? Okay then, I'll wash your back. No, 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 no! Don't get delusional, that's not happening. She is the last person that would ask me that. But I didn't know that she would make such a sweet voice. She's always so strict, so... Maybe she likes being sweet. She is a beautiful woman, though. I wonder if she has a boyfriend. She's usually like... Hayama, did you review this business plan properly? Yes, I looked through it. Don't just look through it. You have to check the numbers if they are correct and make sure that there are no typos. She is beautiful and has perfect proportions. Plus, she performs excellently at work. She's way out of my league. I, on the other hand, always make mistakes and always get told off, but... Come on, let's go check the details together. You do that one. Thank you, Chief. She is strict, but kind. She is good at taking care of people. H Hayama, thanks for the shower. Oh, I just made lunch for... <laughs> Jesus Christ! This might be... a little small. <gasps> Hayama? Shit, shit, shit! 
I want to stare, but I shouldn't. But I want it, but I shouldn't. I'll uh, also take a shower. Oh, okay. I made lunch, so please have it. All right then. That reaction. I bet it's because of this body. I wonder if he's grossed out because I gained some weight. But he did make this for me, and I'm hungry, so... Oh, it's really good! Hayama is a really good cook. 20 minutes later, she was washing the dishes when I got out of the shower. Oh, you didn't have to, you know. Please, you let me stay the night and even made me lunch. I didn't know you were such a chef, Hayama. Oh, well, I used to work part-time in a restaurant, so... Girls are attracted to guys who can cook, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> you bring your own lunch, but do you make those? Yeah, to save up. That's great. I wish you could apply that to work. <laughs> I thought that your girlfriend was making your lunch. I... I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, you don't? What about you, then? What? Me? Yeah, you are attractive, so I was wondering... N not at all. I'm busy with work, and I don't have time for romance, so... Right. I see. I yeah. <sighs> Why, Why is it, is it so, so awkward? awkward? She later tried to go home, but... Wow, it's raining hard! It said in the forecast that it would get worse. Are you sure you can go home? Thanks for worrying. I'll be going. Then take my umbrella. Thanks. I'll see you on Monday. She left, but I was worried whether she could go home in this weather. But a few minutes later... Chief! Did you forget something? <laughs> Sorry, your umbrella broke. You're soaking wet. Please, get inside! Th thanks I'm soaked even though I just showered earlier. Why don't you take a shower again? It's fine. I can just wipe myself with a towel. Sorry for borrowing your sister's clothes again. I'm in trouble. I can't get home. There's a heavy rain warning. Apparently it won't stop until midnight. R right Midnight. If you are okay with it, you can stay here. Would that be alright? Yeah, of course. You can stay the night if you want. But but all of my makeup stuff is at home, so... Right? <laughs> we didn't have anything to do, so we watched a movie together. I've always wanted to watch this. Then let's watch it. Two hours later... <laughs> How wonderful! They do get together in the end after going through so much together. Don't you think it was great, Hayama? <sighs> you fell asleep? Oh. His sleeping face is so cute. I sometimes don't know what I'm feeling when I look at him. He's usually clumsy and childish, but sometimes mature and reliable. Why is my heart racing? I'm his boss! He is a cute Kohai, but... He is cute. No, ever since I woke up, I've been thinking about him! A little bit won't hurt. He's warm. I don't know how long it has been since I did this to a man. This feels good. He smells nice. He said he doesn't have a girlfriend, so this won't be cheating, right? I wonder what he thinks of me. He didn't do anything to me when I was drunk, but... Is he not interested in me? I always tell him off, so maybe he thinks of me as an annoying woman. I'm three years older than him, so I need to pull myself together. Maybe I've forgotten what it felt like, because I haven't had a boyfriend since I graduated university. But I just want to be like this a little longer. Uh... What are you doing? Huh? No! This is, um, um, er, um... What do you mean, no? You were on my chest just now. I, er, uh, I don't know what came over me. I haven't spent any time with a man like this for a long time, so... R right This, this is, is very, very awkward. awkward. I guess you didn't like it, being hugged by a woman like me. What are you talking about? You're beautiful, kind, and you're the person I admire. You are a wonderful person. Don't. If you say any more, I will fall in love with you. Oh. But I'm glad you think of me like that. Huh? You know, I'm strict all the time, so I was worried that you didn't like me. 
being strict is a good thing about you. That's why you are great at work, and I feel like I need to learn more from you. R really Yeah. I want you to listen and not freak out, but... What is it? I want to be sweet and rely on people. Huh? Did you think I'm weird? That's the greatest thing ever! What? If you want to be like that with me, you're more than welcome! Um, really? If it's you, I'm more than happy. Oh, but you aren't allowed to be sweet with other guys, though! I only need you. So... We spent the night together. Half a year had passed since Mika started coming to my apartment. About us. I was wondering if one day... Would you want to get married with me? Huh? Oh, well... Uh, <laughs> we can stay like this if you don't want to. Don't worry. <laughs> I would love to. Let's get married someday. Really? Yes! <laughs> I might get even sweeter than before. Just kidding. So we decided to live together as our first step towards marriage. At work, we were like, Hayama, follow me! Hey, Hayama, what kind of mistake did you make this time? I don't know. And what's the matter, Mika? I wanted to hug you. I told you, not at work, remember? Just a bit, alright? This is our little secret. When should we tell everyone? I think I want to enjoy this secret a little longer. If that's the case, why don't you date me? What does she mean if that's the case? It's not such a bad idea though, right? This is what they call a win-win situation. Is it just me being an introvert that I cannot understand what this beautiful girl says? <laughs> While talking to the Queen Bee, I was thinking about the other cute girl. Hi. I'm Ryo Tamachi. I just started my last year in high school. When I saw the name list of my class, I saw the names that belonged to the two most beautiful girls in school. Oh! I'm in the same class as Megiru Hibura, an amateur model! Oh. And I'm with Mejiro again. Miyako Mejiro and I have known each other since elementary school. We've been in the same class for roughly 10 years. Only once were we in a different class. But that doesn't mean we're good friends. There surely was a hierarchy between us. Once again, I'm in the same class with a gloomy person like you. Ugh, good grief. Who says good grief nowadays? I mean, you don't have to talk to me if you don't like me. <laughs> I came to talk to you because I know you don't have any friends. I know, I'm all alone. But I like to live a peaceful life. You say such boring things. Don't you want to do some youthful stuff? Maybe get a girlfriend or something? Um, I'm just not trying to rush anything, I guess. Hmm, but don't you think it's a waste if your school life ends just like that? If you really wanted to, I... When Mejiro was about to say something, the classroom started to get noisy. Good morning, everyone! G good morning Man, I just had a conversation with Hibiya-san. <laughs> I'm so lucky to be in this class! No wonder, the boys were shedding a tear of gratitude. The person who is smiling to them is a school queen bee, Megu Hibiya. She works as an amateur model for a famous fashion magazine. Many agents from production companies used to come to our school, but Hibiya-san declined all of those offers. I want to be able to work on my own terms. Her firm attitude made the agents gaze and wonder. Or so they say. Oh! Huh? Is she coming over here? Uh, Miyako Mejiro-san? It's the first time we're in the same class. <laughs> nice to meet you. I get it now. She came to talk with Mejiro. She would never have any reason to talk to me. Oh, nice to meet you, too. You know, I've been buying all the magazines that you're on the front of. I'm so happy to be in the same class with you. <laughs> Such a cute girl is reading them. I'm flattered. Two beautiful girls having a conversation right in front of me. I guess is what you call eye-pleasing. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hibiya-san called me cute. Yeah, I heard that. And I know that, even if she hadn't mentioned it. 
because she always makes fun of me, I tend to forget. But she also has good looks. If she wanted to, she probably could become a model too. Come on, why did you answer so half-heartedly? Don't be jealous just because you look so boring. Hmm, I have an idea. After class that day, for some reason, Hibiya-san wanted to talk with me. Tamachi-kun, isn't Majiro-san a little bit harsh on you? Well, what she says is kind of true, though. Don't you ever get upset? Upset? I never felt that way. I don't hate talking to Mejiro. She's actually pretty fun to talk to. Somehow, Hibiya-san chuckled. By the way, that was so cute. Tamachi-kun, aren't you brainwashed? Me? By Mejiro? Yes, she kept treating you that way for a long time. You started to believe what she says. No way. But if that were the case, that's messed up. If that's the case, why don't you date me? Huh? What does she mean, if that's the case? It's not such a bad idea, though, right? This is what they call a win-win situation. Um, uh, I, uh, I can't really get where you're coming from. Oh, I guess I should talk about our long rivalry between me and Mijiro-san. The battle began in our first year. I hope this isn't going to be long. The most important event in the school festival is a beauty contest. Hibiya-san was nominated, obviously. However, Mejiro-san won the contest because Hibiya-san couldn't come to the festival due to her job as a model. And for last year's festival, both Hibiya-san and the reigning champion Mejiro were nominated. The whole school was excited to find out the results, which we never got to know of. The school's festival was canceled due to a typhoon. But some of the students still had an unofficial popularity vote. The results showed that Majiro-san was the winner. I have never forgotten the frustration ever since. Is that so? So I missed the part about why I should be dating you. I can win against Majiro-san by becoming your girlfriend. Hmm? Aha! You haven't realized. Anyway, if you went out with me, I could seek my revenge. And you'll also be able to surprise her for once. How's that? Win-win, right? Hmm. Make her surprised, huh? Okay. So, what's going to happen? I can imagine her being so surprised that her eyes will be popping out. Oh, I'm actually interested in that. It's decided then! We're dating each other now. Of course, this is just temporary, and you just have to play along. Okay. As long as you're fine with me being your boyfriend, even if it's just pretending. Yes, this is going to be fun! I never knew Hubiasam was this kind of person. The next morning, as soon as I entered the classroom, every single classmate looked over at me. What? What? It's scary that it's so quiet. What on earth happened? Your name's Tamachi, right? I yeah So you're the Tamachi who became Hibiya-san's boyfriend. What? How do you know about that? No way! Such a gloomy guy stole our Hibiya-san! Babiyama! Hold it together! I'm worried about the guy who just passed out, but can't give him any more pages. As I looked around the classroom, I found Abiyasan smiling elegantly and looking at me. Sorry, I told everyone. But why? Why did you have to tell everyone? You just wanted to surprise Majida, right? This way, she'll be even more surprised. <laughs> just look at her. Uh huh? I looked over to where Abiyasan was looking and found Majido san trembling. R really? Uh huh. Why is her reaction so serious? I don't feel like saying I got you. More like, sorry for lying. Um, actually. <laughs> it's still our second day in this relationship, but we're all lovey dovey. Abia san? W oh, what? Majuro is acting like a broken robot. 
You call him gloomy and boring, but for me, he's a prince. And what on earth is she saying? I don't care about how long you two have known each other. Two days of being boyfriend and girlfriend is way more important than that. No more making fun of my boyfriend from now on, okay? Say something that's not... I've got a lot to say to these two beautiful girls, but there's too much to take in. My brain can't handle it. In no time, classes were over. Tamachi-kun, let's go home together. It's already four o'clock. When did I eat my lunch? You're acting strange. Don't you remember? I was sitting on your lap while we shared both of our lunches. What? They took a picture of us and put it on the front page of her school newspaper. I had a Bia son sitting on my lap. She was feeding me a sausage cut into the shade of an octopus. Mejiro san was sitting behind us. It appeared as if her soul had gotten away with food falling out of her mouth. Now we're off to the photo booth in the arcade. Right now? We promised to get one of those kissing photos, right? She has to be lying. Don't you think we've done enough of this? Michiru was certainly surprised a lot. Not at all. I'm not satisfied yet. We are going on an after-school date. Oh, this smells so good. Is this perfume or, or shampoo? That's not important. Are my classmates staring at me from behind? This turned out to be a bigger deal than I thought. From then on, I've been dating Hibiya-san. Morning, darling. M morning. We met up at our closest station in the morning. We eat lunch together. And when Hibiya-san doesn't have any work, we hang out together after school. I'm jealous. He must have saved at least one million lives in his previous life. That's a little too much, isn't it? As for Majuro, she hasn't been coming over to chat with me. I'm honestly a little sad that she doesn't. Before I even knew it, I probably have. My eyes were following her without even noticing. Even if it wasn't the best sort of friendship, I really liked it when she used to come to talk to me. Tamachi-kun, say ah! Mm-hmm. I guess it's about time. Hey, Tamachi-kun, let's go and get that kissing photo today. You're still talking about that? Of course not. Why not? We're a couple, right? Isn't she being a little more persuasive than usual? Come on, let's go. She was holding onto my arms tight. I'm not used to women, so I didn't know how I should make her let go. I'm going to get your first kiss. Uh-huh. I thought she was just joking, but 20 minutes later, we were already in the arcade booth. All of the high school girls that were there were surprised to see a popular model. Oh, they've always got a new type in the backyard. Let's use that one. Uh... The whole photo booth was making a racket when Hibiya-san opened the no-authorized person's door, all while clinging on to me. 400 yen. There we go. Don't you think we should go with the natural option? Uh, I don't know. It, this is my first time coming here. This is a kissing photo, so I'll get the course that they zoom in a lot. Are we really going to do that? Tamachi-kun, do you really not want to kiss me so badly? Once I started to think about it, I couldn't stop looking at her lips. So jiggly and glossy. So many people would want to kiss her. But the person I really want to kiss is... Uh, sorry! I... No! No! Oh! I suddenly got tackled by something and hit my back against the wall of the photo booth. I looked up and saw Bia-san being confronted by Mejiro. What? What? What is this situation? This place is only for authorized personnel. <laughs> Should I call the guard? I am authorized when it comes to Tamachi. You two have just known each other for a long time. No! I have a crush on him! I've come here as your love rival! Huh? 
It's a beautiful scene! Watching two cuties throw off sparkles. However, not when I'm the cause of it! Um... Why don't we all calm down? Oh, my crush was about to get kissed! How am I supposed to stay calm? Why is she scolding me? <laughs> uh, Bia-san? I guess that's enough for my revenge. Uh, 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 revenge? Yes, I always wanted to win against you, so I stole your loved one. What? So that was the whole point? That's just so twisted. I know, I can't deny that. Tamachi-kun, sorry for dragging you into this, all because of my selfishness. From now on, I'm going all in! All in? I don't care about Majiro-san anymore! I just want to date you for real! I'm not pretending anymore. I'm going to be your real girlfriend. Wha- Why are you deciding this all by yourself? Why are you mad at me, Hibiya-san? This happened all because of the way you were treating him. A lot of problems occur when we're in the same classroom for ten years. They're talking about me, but I can't get a single word in! While I was standing there, my first ever photo booth picture had just been printed out. I... I look so dumb, while two girls are facing each other. If this were a manga, I would be drawn in the triangle composition. Now, what's going to happen next? Be nice to each other. We'll get lots of souvenirs. My father and his new wife, Misai, went on their honeymoon. And so I was left with my stepsister. Yamato, just because our parents are away, it doesn't mean that we can bond, okay? Things are pretty awkward here. Why did you leave us two at home, Dad? I despised my father for leaving me in a situation like this for three weeks, even though we only became family very recently and haven't even got to know each other that well. Also, isn't three weeks a little too long for a honeymoon? Where are you going? I'm going out. At this hour? Dinner's going to be ready in a bit. I'll do what I want. I'll have dinner later. She said that and left the house. Hmm. Going out at night? I don't think she would listen to her new stepbrother. She doesn't seem to like me, and she isn't a child, so maybe I should just leave her alone. But... I just couldn't leave her alone. I decided to go after her and see what she was up to. This is a stereotypical place to come to at night. I came after her, and she went into a game center alone. It didn't look like she was with someone, but maybe she was meeting someone inside. She's still alone. Did she really come here by herself just to play games? Hinata was playing a music game like a pro. She must have spent a lot of time practicing it by the looks of it but she was still alone. There seems to be no one around her who appeared to be her friend. She was just concentrating on the game. But it should be alright if she's not hanging out with the wrong people. Hey girl, is it fun playing games all by yourself? Huh? Let's play games together. We can hang out at my place afterwards, yeah? Wow, I didn't know stereotypical guys like them still existed. She won't go with them, will she? I'm fine. I like being alone. Aw, come on! Ugh. We know how to have fun, you know. So come with us! Can you not? Sorry, but I'm with her. Huh? Who the hell are you? <gasps> Yamato. <gasps> Yamato? Shit, that person is- What's the matter? Acting all scared? Are you stupid? Don't you know? We shouldn't get involved with this guy! This is THE Yamato! Oh, these people are... Are you serious? He doesn't look like the kind of guy that would... How many do you think thought the same and got beaten up? We shouldn't do anything to him! The two guys were whispering in front of me and Hinata. Maybe they didn't realize that we could hear every word they said. Sorry about that! So, you're going to step back? Y yes well um, uh, uh, we'll be going now. If you could let go of my arm. Oh yeah, don't hit on her again, okay? 
Oh, of course. We'll be going now. <sighs> Thank God they left without making a mess. Hmm. What's the matter? Oh, are you mad that I interrupted them? No, they were annoying, so I'm grateful for that, but those guys saw your face and ran away. You look like a normal person, but are you a really bad person? Oh, well, don't worry. I'm a normal person. That one moment you took to think? Suspicious. No, really. I mean, do I look like a bad guy? Well, yeah, you look weak, but the reaction of those guys... Come on, let's not worry too much about that. Huh. Okay then, but why are you here, Yamato? Oh, um... Did you follow me? Well, yeah, I did. That's very suspicious. Uh. I may need to report this to your father. Please don't, I'll be kicked out. Then leave me alone, I told you. We don't need to bond. Well, yeah, but it's dangerous to be walking around at night. And you are cute, so I was worried that there might be people like those guys trying to hit on you. Well, what do you mean, Colt? Are you flirting with your stepsister? What kind of guy are you? Oh, she's quite innocent. I thought she would be used to being called cute. I'm not flirting, but you're cute when you blush, too. Uh, are you doing this on purpose? You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? I teased her a little bit, and she reacted very well. I thought she was a difficult girl to talk to, but I guess I was wrong. It's true that she is cute, though. <laughs> Don't get so angry. That mature attitude is annoying. Putting that aside, do you like playing music games? Not really. It's not that I don't like it. Really? Yes. I just do it to kill time. Hmm. It looks fun. Have you ever done it before? Yeah. I don't think I've played music games before. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter? Do you want to have a battle, Yamato? Battle? Yeah. The person to get a higher score gets to make the loser do a favor. Isn't that a little unfair? You won't back out, will you? You're my brother, and you are two years older than me. Wow, you are obviously provoking me, but I guess this is only a game. You underestimate music games. This is very difficult. Plus, we are doing it with the highest difficulty level. She's a lot more childlike than I thought. She's trying to go hard on a beginner. I will read the instructions if you don't mind. Huh? Are you taking your glasses off as a handicap? Or is it a sign that you are serious now? Somebody thinks they are a character from an anime. <laughs> you are good at provoking people, Hinata. Just you wait and see. Oh my, do you think you are showing off? I'll beat you and make sure that you won't interfere with me. I lost. You've got to be joking. How could he get a perfect score with the super fast sliding notes? Even I made two mistakes and I've been practicing so hard. Is he really a beginner? Yeah, it's always difficult the first time. What? You lied to me, didn't you? Huh? It's impossible to get all of the super fast sliding notes correct. And you got the high score, which means your timing was also perfect. You just changed the ranking. It really was my first time trying this. I was only tapping to the notes that came. That's impossible. No human could have done that. No one could get a perfect on this without memorizing the notes. Hmm, she's getting very competitive because she lost in a game she likes. She's a lot more childish than she usually behaves. I don't mind you thinking I played this before, but I won, right? That's cheating. If I had known that you have played it before, I would have done it more seriously. Huh? She was dead serious though. Then what are we going to do? I want a rematch on that game. Not the same one? I'm done with this. I bet she thought that she wouldn't be able to win with this game, so she wants to do a different one. That's kind of cute. I can win with that game. Why? Because I am the number one ranker on that game. We both moved to where the other game was and played the game. I lost again! I won. How? You just got a new high score! I tried so hard to get to the top! Um... I'm sorry. What is that look? Don't pity me. I won't accept this. Okay. I told you your mature attitude is annoying as hell. 
Okay, then. You won. I'll do anything for you. I thought you didn't accept it. I don't admit that you are better at gaming than me. I want another rematch tomorrow. You really don't like losing, do you? You better not run away. I mean, you are a brother. She was being quite cocky at the beginning, but now she was being super competitive. She apparently really didn't want to lose against me. Okay, okay. Let's go home for today. That's the favor. But... I wanted to play more. We'll come again tomorrow, so... So she does like music games, then. Misai told me that she was being rebellious, so I thought she was hanging out with bad friends. But I guess there isn't much to worry about if she just comes here to play games. I would be happy if she wouldn't go out at night, though. We went home and had dinner together. I don't understand. Hinata seems dissatisfied. Are you still angry about the game? No. Then what is it? Why are you all so good at cooking? Um... I've been thinking since you have been helping mom, but you are a better cook than even my mom! Even though you look like you can't do any chores! Would you say it in a different way? That really hurts me and Misai. I've just been helping my dad with the chores since junior high because it would be too much for him. Since junior high? Which means my mom is way more experienced than you. And yet, you make far better food than her. Um, whatever you do, don't say that in front of Misai. I'm the one that's getting the blame if your mom cries about that. That's why I'm saying it now! You can cook! You're good at games! You look like you are clever! Well, I'm not that clever, actually. I am good at sports, though. This person. Your inside and outside are so different. I don't know why, but Hinata seemed tired. But I think we were able to break the ice in the last several hours. She only showed an unfriendly face until yesterday. But now she shows me many expressions, and I think she is adorable. Nothing really happened after we ate dinner, and she took me to the game center the next day again. She tells me that when you go before it gets dark, it's crowded, and you have to queue up to play games. But if you go at night, it's not that crowded, and you don't have to wait to play. That's why she was taking advantage of the fact that our parents are away and going to the game center at night. Her ability to sense danger is probably not working. And so we played games, but... Why can't I win? I won all of them. Something's wrong. Something is definitely wrong. There is definitely something wrong with your score. <laughs> I guess you could say that if you just look at the scores. My eyes are so tired. Really? We haven't even played that many games. I think it's because you take your glasses off every time to show off. It's not a handicap at all, so you should keep it on. Well, these glasses are a little different from your ordinary glasses. Hey! It's Yamato! Oh yeah! Hi, Yamato! You guys are... You saved us the other day! Saved you? Yeah, these guys were picking on us, and Yamato helped us out! Wait, Kanagi? Why are you here, Kanagi? Why are you with Yamato? Kanagi is Hinata's mother's surname. It seems like they knew each other. Who are you? I take that back. It seems like her Kohai knew her, but she didn't know them. Hinata is an attractive girl, so I guess she's popular in places that I'm not aware of. Wow, Yamato! You are one heck of a dude dating her! I mean, there are rumors saying that although she's cute, if you touch her, you may no longer have a school life! There's no questioning about the name Evil Hunter Yamato! I have loads of questions, but I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'll say it just in case, but we aren't dating or anything. And I told you not to mention that name. It sucks. Oh, why not? It's so cool! And wait, so you're not boyfriend-girlfriend then? Obviously. What do you mean by evil hunter? Don't you know? Yamato helps anyone who's been picked on and beats up the bad guys who did it! That's why these people call him evil hunter and are afraid of him! So it was those types of people calling me by that name. I'm quite sick of it. It's so cool though! Please stop calling me that, okay? And I wouldn't recommend walking around at this hour. You might get picked on by bad guys again. I guess it's not convincing since I'm out as well. We're on our way back from cram school, you see. I see. Unlike us, it is a proper reason to be out. <sighs> well, we'll get going now. Okay, 
Take care. Yeah, I'll see you soon. And? Why do you look moody? You thought that I was stupid compared to them, didn't you? What? No, I didn't. Why? We were playing games while they were studying, so... Oh, I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. What? Studying hard is a good thing, but it's not something you have to do. What's important is to find what you want to do and make an effort to achieve it. But... I still don't know what I want to do. You're still in your first year, so there's no need to rush. It's better to take your time to find what you want to do rather than rushing and deciding. Right. Yep, that's right. Do you have something you want to do? Me? Well, it's a secret. Why not? Fine. I'll win a game against you, and then you can tell me. Because of this conversation, we started the thing again where every night we would play a game, and the person who lost had to do something that the winner tells them to do. Of course, we couldn't afford playing at the game center forever. So we switched to games at home, and... I lost again! I was winning all the time, but that couldn't be helped. She gets extremely mad when I don't do my best. And... what kind of lewd favor are you going to ask me to do today? Um, can you not make it sound like I've been making you do those kinds of things? The things I told her to do were mainly helping with the chores. I have never asked any lewd favors. I didn't have to ask because I already have difficulty finding where to look with the way she dresses at home. <sighs> What's the matter? Do you like it when girls get a little touchy? What? If you ask me to, I will. I can't disobey orders, so... In contrast to her words, she seemed to be expecting something. I understood that she was implying that I should ask for it. So I decided to obey and ask her to get a little touchy. Then... You want me to use you as a lap pillow? If you say so. I can stroke your head, right? Just today. <laughs> She seems to be in a good mood. After two hours of it? Oh no. My consciousness! Because I had used my eyes too much, I was about to pass out. I thought the lap pillow would end fairly quickly. But Hinata seems to like it, and there was no sign that she was going to move. I want her to enjoy myself, but because I used my eyes too much, I was having difficulty keeping myself awake and... Huh? Yamato, why have you stopped? Are you asleep? Really? I don't think people usually sleep in a situation like this. I was shocked because even though I was on his lap, he was sleeping like it didn't matter. Oh, it's dangerous to sleep with your glasses on, you know? Hey, what the hell? The lenses are white and you can hardly see. I've heard before that there are people who see too well. The amount of information strains their brain and eyes so they wear glasses that reduce information. I see. That's why he took his glasses off every time we played a game. His eyes are incredibly good, so it might have been true that he got new records on his first try for the games we played. Well, actually, he isn't the sort of guy that would lie about it. I've spent enough time with him to figure that out, so he was telling the truth. I didn't believe him at all, but he didn't make a negative face even once. So, he was playing games with me every day even though it was tough on his eyes. Oh no, what should I do? My heart is pounding really fast, and it won't stop. It can't be helped. My mom was busy since I was small, and I became a rebellious girl because no one would pay attention to me. But Yamato was kind to me even when I was mean, and he always gives me attention and plays with me. I became aware of my feelings towards him, and took a deep breath to make up my mind. And... Yamato. I love you, Yamato. Would you go out with me? I whispered into his ears, knowing that he wouldn't be able to hear me. Wait, Inami! Calm down! <laughs> you can't run anymore, senpai. I was drinking with my female Kohai at an izakaya after work as usual. That's what I thought. Ah, uh, my body feels hot. Uh, how could anyone not keep their eyes on her? I'm going to throw away my stockings. Her legs. Ah, this feels better. Stress-free. They look soft. Huh? Her face is so close. I can't resist any longer. 
Masato Senpai, I love you so much. Aww. This is my first time being love attacked by a drunk new girl at work. Kiss me, Masato Senpai. Hold me. Let's make love. Uh, don't get so close. Are you a cat or something? Meow. I didn't ask you to become one. <laughs> Oh, you're funny, Masato Senpai. That's also what makes you attractive. What is she talking about? How in the world did this happen? My name is Masato Kazama. I'm 26. I work for a toxic company where I do digital marketing. I work like a slave here. The head of department forced me to do a job, and I am happily working after hours. Ah! Fuck this company! Some days, you just need to drink, and some days, you just need to scream. People of normal companies, I beg you to share your holidays. That dirty chief, forcing me to do a job right before the working hours finish. If it's an easy job, why don't you do it yourself? That's it, senpai. Spill it out! Huh? It seems like there were still other people in the office. This girl who is cheering for me is Nagisa Inami. She just came into the company this year, and she is my subordinate. She is one of those people that everyone likes. She's liked by everyone both at the company and everywhere else, and is like an angel. Can you believe that this cute new girl has an unexpected side to her? I'm back! I just finished my sales routine. <sighs> it's hot today, isn't it? Here's barley tea. Yay! I got these snacks as a gift! She isn't just liked by everyone. She learns her stuff really quickly. Among the kohai that I have educated, she is by far the best. There's no need to mention the fact that guys are crazy about her. Inami, I was wondering if you would like to go and watch a movie this Sunday with me. I'm so sorry, I already have plans. Inami, do you want to have dinner together? I know a place where they have good wine. I'm sorry, I still have work to do. Inami, let's go drinking. Sorry, no. No one would argue that she is a beautiful girl. She is sort of like the company girl. She is a perfect kohai. But... Come on! Let's quickly finish up your work and go drinking! I hate to mention it myself, but she is somehow very fond of me. She asks me to go drinking every day, and she waits just to go drinking with me. However, I'm not really at the age where I can mix my work and private life just because a popular girl is fond of me. And besides, I know. Not happening. Huh? It's on me then. I'm not broke. Then, then why, why not? not? Why, you say? It's because you don't let me go until I almost miss my last train every single time. This new girl just loves to drink. Even when she is sober, she's energetic. But when she is drunk, huh, she gets even more energetic. If we go drinking with just the two of us, I know I would have to deal with all the annoying behavior by myself. But I like drinking with you. That's not the point. Besides, who would go drinking from a Monday? Are you a college student or something? Oh, come on! I want to go to the seafood izakaya you took me to the other day. You sound like an old man, you know. I want to eat straw-grilled skipjack and sip ice-cold sake. I ended up taking her. I am truly naive. Cheers! Cheers. Ah, this is so good, I couldn't live without it. She sounds like an old man, but boy is she cute. It is problematic that I almost miss the train every time, but she is an important kohai that I am educating. I like drinking with her because I can enjoy myself, and I tend to drink a lot when I'm with her. I mean, she is very fond of me, so... You should drink sake after this too, senpai. I still haven't finished my first drink. You're already thinking about your next drink? Hey, my beer! She drinks beer like water. She's drinking from where I was drinking. She drinks like she's from a beer commercial and emptied my glass in seconds. This is her full potential. And now you can drink sake! If you pass out, I'm not taking you home, okay? Hey, don't leave me behind. I probably should if that happens. Oh, how wonderful it is to drink. It's so fun. I think you should slow down your pace. New girl, can't stop drinking. 30 minutes later. Are you saying that you don't want to drink the sake that this cute kohai is giving you? It's the first time I've been harassed like this by a kohai. <laughs> I'm your first. 60 minutes later. Inami, those are my chopsticks. What are you talking about? These chopsticks belong to the shop. That's not what I was talking about. 
Ninety minutes later. Can you turn around for a bit? Ah,、huh? what's the matter? Look at this! I found someone's stockings. You shouldn't just take it off and leave it on the floor, Senpai. It's the one you just took off, you fool! Put it back on. A hundred and twenty minutes later. I'm going to pretend to be Masato Senpai. Huh? Fuck this toxic company! You do the fucking job if it's so easy. Oh God, that's it. Excuse me. Can we get the bill, please? And again, it was almost time for the last train. If there's anything different. <laughs> Masato Senpai. Inami was completely drunk.、Uh, hey, my arm is touching your breasts. I know. How does it feel? Why would I say it? Her sense of shame has vanished. I guess it's impossible to go home by train at this rate. I'll get a taxi. So let's go home. Huh? I thought we were going to another place to drink. How are you so confident in everything? Look at all the places around you. They all have their shutters down and they are closing up. We can't drink even if we wanted to. Besides, we have work tomorrow. From the Inami I knew, she would complain, but in the end, decide to go home. But she seemed like she had something else in mind. After all, she is the super drunk Inami. I have a great idea. Huh? Inami was somehow super confident. She got the taxi that I was about to get. I got into the back seat. Come on, Senpai. On you get.、Uh, okay. Now that I think back. I wonder why I got in without asking. Mr. Driver, can you take us to the closest hotel? What? Those words made me sober in an instant. Do you understand what you are saying? You can drink as much as you want at the hotel because you don't have to worry about your train. Plus, it's close to the company, so we don't rush in the morning. It's very logical. Logical? Are you out of your mind? You can even shower. The bed is comfy, so you can probably sleep well. This is the kind of thing a guy usually does, giving lots of excuses. So let's go to the hotel and drink. Ah,、uh, why have our positions switched? The hotel room was lit by dim lights to make the mood. The scent of sweet aroma filled the room. There was weird music playing in the background. The double bed was screaming that it was the main attraction of the room. This is your typical love hotel. I stumbled into the place where people make love. This is my first time in a love hotel. With my kohai. Calm down. What am I getting nervous for? Inami chose to come here so that we could drink and chat. She didn't choose this place to do this and that. Look, she's just enjoying herself on the bed. Masato Senpai, let's make tonight unforgettable. I take it back. My kohai was so ready to do this and that. Masato Senpai, I love you so much. Ah. And that's how we got here. I thought we came here to drink. Of course we will, but my body is craving you, Masato Senpai, not drinks. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm addicted to you. What kind of affection is this? Senpai, Masato Senpai, why don't you eat me and get addicted to me? I want you to want me. I do admit that I am a little drunk, so I wish this was all a dream. But Inami's voice and the feeling of her skin that was touching me were undoubtedly real. It was so good that it had to be real. I will let you lie on my lap if you want. I'll add some head stroking if you would like. Lying on your lap? Head stroking? Isn't that enough? I'll bathe you. I'll wash your back. Bath? Back? I'll even do cosplay for you. Schoolgirl, nurse. I'll even wear a bunny girl suit. Wait a second, Inami. Guy's dream. You are greedy, Senpai. I will wear a sexy lingerie if you insist. <laughs> Stop! Stop seducing me just because you are drunk. Not good. Not good. If she continues to seduce me like this, I don't know what will happen. I don't know what I'll do. More like Masato Senpai. There are no trains anymore tonight, so I'll go and sleep at an internet cafe. Hey! Don't go. But you aren't sober. You might make the wrong choices. I may not be sober, but my feelings are true.、Uh? I truly love you, Masato Senpai. She is definitely drunk, but I can tell that the reason she is blushing isn't just because she is drunk. Her expression was that of a girl simply in love. You really love me? Yes. Really? 
Absolutely. You teach me things that I don't understand every day. I've seen you cover for people until late night. Any girl would fall in love with someone like you. She convinced me that it wasn't just a lighthearted thing. It seems as though I was not calm. Even if Inami was drunk, she's still the same person. She had a feeling that she wanted to tell me with the help of alcohol. Although, I would say she overdid it a little. I'm sorry. Why apologize? Having you as a kohai, I thought I should see you as a co-worker, not as a female. So... So? It might take time, but I want to see you as a female. <gasps> I didn't know if it was an acceptable answer, but Inami seemed to be satisfied with it. Senpai! Ah! I love how you care about me so much! I, I'm telling you! I'm not going to mix my work and my private life. I'm not going to stop educating you until you can do everything by yourself either. Of course. I'm looking forward to being taught things like this and that. <gasps> <laughs> you were thinking of loot stuff, weren't you? You tricked me into thinking so. I mean, I wouldn't mind you teaching me that stuff here right now. Ah, uh, you should watch your mouth. Oh no! Masato Senpai is going to educate me! <laughs> she really is one of a kind. A wondrous kohai, or should I say woman, has fallen in love with me. I will leave it to your imaginations what happened after this. Maybe I scolded her until the morning, or... I'm Aoi Nanami. I'm in 11th grade. I was a pretty normal kid. I had friends, I got average grades, and played sports every now and then. There was nothing special about me. Did you watch the anime last night? I didn't have time. What? I told you to watch it! Actually, there was one thing that was kind of special about me. You're talking about anime again. She had such pretty brown hair. She looked great in her school uniform. She had a bunch of scrunchies on her wrist. She was pretty to begin with, and now she was starting to wear makeup making her even more pretty. What's wrong with anime? It's none of your business! Just stop being so loud, okay? I don't want to hear about your anime. I've been saying this for a while now. Her name was Rika Kusunoki. She was one of the popular girls in class. Lots of guys liked her too. And the thing is, I've known her since we were kids. Not everyone has childhood friends like this, so... What? I wasn't being loud! I... Hey... Sorry about him, guys. Thanks for being friends with him. STOP IGNORING ME! Of course! No problem! <laughs> she was pretty and nice to everyone. No wonder she was one of the most popular girls in class. She was nothing like me. I was just an average Joe. We lived in completely different worlds, but she always talked to me for some reason. Rika! Leave me alone! What? You looked lonely. I was just trying to look out for you. What? I was talking with my friends. You blind? Just go away. Hey, don't talk to her like that. Yeah, watch your mouth. Wait, what? Me? Whenever she was around, everyone took her side. Then... They're right, you know. That's why you're still single. Plus, your face. You trying to piss me off? No worries, though. I know you're a nice person. That's it. Let's take this outside. Rika was always teasing me. I think she enjoyed it too. That's probably why she was always talking to me. Maybe I should just ignore her. But I've known her ever since we were kids, so... I kind of feel bad. Plus, she has too much power over me. Ah! I'll get her back for this! Someday! But there wasn't much I could do. Ah! Why am I such a wimp? Oh, relax. You're always so mad. That's probably why you don't get any girls. Shut up! You're blushing. All I did was pat your head. You're so cute. <laughs> ah! Rika kept patting my head. My friends looked jealous. I was so embarrassed. I gotta get her back somehow! After classes were over, I walked home with Rika. She lived in the house next to mine, and everyone from our families knew each other. So we always walked home together like this. Rika, can we stop by the bookstore? Sure, as long as you're not gonna buy one of those light novels again. What? It's my money. Why can't I- I just don't want to waste time, okay? Then go home! You're a guy. You're supposed to walk me home. Ah! 
I guess she was right. That's why you're still single. You gotta treat girls better than that. Girls? But you're... What's that? Nothing. I'm sorry. You should be grateful that you get to walk home with me. What? You're the one that's always asking me to walk you home. I should probably start charging for this. Don't push it. Why the hell would I pay you for this? I'd rather walk home alone. Alone? You sure? Yeah, I got friends too, you know. Sato, Yamada, Tanaka. Oh, right, your buddies. Cute. Got any female friends, though? Didn't think so. She was always teasing me like this. I've had it up to here with her. She's always giving me a hard time about being bad with girls. But wait, maybe I can just lie to her and say that I have a girlfriend. Maybe that'll shut her up. I came up with a really good idea. In fact, I do. Huh? Stop lying. I'm not. I got a girlfriend, okay? I held up my chest and tried to look confident. This should shut her up. Then... What did you say? Uh-oh. She looks mad. You being serious right now? Uh, crap, crap. Uh, yeah, of course I am. What's she like? Uh, uh, I didn't know what to say. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't know what to say to her. Maybe I can just come clean right now, but she looked pretty pissed. But if I keep lying to her, I think I'll just piss her off even more. So I decided to lie again. Uh, she's the quiet type, you know. She's pretty, though. Oh, I see. So she's nothing like me, huh? Was she jealous or something? I couldn't tell. What should I say? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> she looked really upset. I had no idea why. Fine, then. Introduce me to her. What? No, oh, um... What? What's wrong? She looked pissed. And I don't think she believed me. I was starting to sweat. Uh... Uh, I'd love to, but she's a senior, so she's really busy, you know? College exams and all that. Fine. Show me your room, then. You got pictures and stuff, don't you? Uh, no. Because she doesn't exist. No worries. If I look at your room, I'll be able to tell if you're lying or not. Girls terrify me. Uh, my room is really messy today, so if I show her my room, it's game over. I have to keep her out of my room at all costs! I don't mind. I've been to your room many times. It's always messy. But, uh... You're lying, aren't you? Fine! Come to my room! I don't care! No! What have I done?! It just slipped out! Damn it! She's gonna find out that I'm lying! Okay then, let's go! Now! Uh, take your time! I'm gonna clean my room first! It's okay, really. No, it's not! Then I ran off. I gotta do something quick! I need something that'll make her believe my story. Maybe I should steal something from my sister's room. Or maybe I should just come clean and apologize to her. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I was just trying to show off. No need to keep lying about this. All right then, as soon as she arrives, I'm just gonna come clean and apologize. I'm sure she'll forgive me. I think... I decided to come clean about everything, but then... <sighs> I found a girl sleeping in my bed! <sighs> okay. Not sure what she meant by that, but I took a deep breath. She was so pretty, her hair was so beautiful, and look at her! They're so big! Her chest moved up and down as she slept. Wait. I've seen her before. She's one of the prettiest girls in our school. I think her name was Kaede Satomi. Why was she in my bed, though? I had no idea what was going on. What the hell is going on? I was so confused. Then she woke up. Uh, oh, you're home. What? Were you waiting for me? Huh? Satomi, why are you in my room? I was sleeping. What?! None of this was making sense! I gotta do something before Rika sees this! Just get out, okay? Please! Aoi? Yikes! I turned around. Rika was here! She looked pissed! 
I was starting to sweat like crazy! What do I do now? So, Aoi, who's that, huh? Uh... Uh... Wait, is she...? Why was she so mad at me? I gotta say something... fast! But what?! I didn't even know why she was here! Why was the hottest girl in school sleeping in my bed?! I turned around and looked at Kaede. I guess I'll just have to ask her. She looked at both of us, then she said, I'll handle this. She gave me a thumbs up. Oh, thank God. I think everything's gonna be fine. She'll straighten this out. Relieved, I turned around and looked at Rika. She still looked pissed. Rika, listen. What? See, here's the thing. But then, Satomi grabbed my arm and said, Hello, I am Kaede Satomi. I'm Hayoi's girlfriend. Wait, what? No! So, you weren't lying. She looked furious! I've never seen her this angry before! Hmm. Yeah, we're in love, right, Aoi? What? No! What do you mean, no? You said you had a pretty girlfriend, and here she is! She was sleeping in your bed! Stop lying! Oh, Aoi, you're sweet. Thanks. Oh no! There's no going back now! What do I do? Ah, uh, so who are you? Are you his friend? Yeah, I've known him since we were kids. Oh, okay. Saw he was cheating on me or something. Phew! Huh? Rika was furious! She was glaring at me! I was really scared! But when Satomi grabbed my arm again, I felt kind of relieved for some reason. Uh, uh, think, think? Why are you going out with someone like him anyways? Um, cause I like him? How is this any of your business? What? Because, because it is! Uh, how so? Because... Because... I've known him since we were kids, and... So what? Uh, say something, Aoi! Huh? Me? Yes, you! Hey, what do you want to do today, babe? What? What was she talking about? Uh... Uh... I don't know! Aoi! Yes? Aoi! Yes? Is she really your girlfriend? What? Well, not exactly. Rika looked really upset. She was almost about to cry. I can't believe you'd go out with someone other than me. How could you? Rika said something, but I couldn't hear her. But she didn't look angry anymore. She just looked sad. It kind of felt good. I mean, she teased me all the time, and now I was getting back at her. No, no, that's mean. Hey, Aoi. Huh? Uh, uh. Hold on, I can't think right now! How long do I have to keep pretending to be your girlfriend? Huh? Huh? What did she just say? Rika and I were pretty confused. I thought you wanted me to pretend to be your girlfriend. Huh? No, I wanted to know why you were sleeping in my bed. Oh. Yeah. I see. I was waiting for your sister to come home, but I felt sleepy, so I took a nap in your bed. Oh, so you're my sister's friend. Yeah, sorry, I was really sleepy. So, turns out she was a friend of my sister. Sorry, hope you don't mind. It's cool. Thanks. Oh well, I should probably go downstairs now. Bye! Okay. Oh, sorry for the misunderstanding. Then she walked out of my room. That was... thrilling. I had no idea what to say to Rika. Satomi was a guest, though. Maybe I should offer her some tea or something until my sister arrives. I should probably head downstairs. But when I try to step out of my room... Hold it right there! She grabbed me from behind! My shoulders hurt like hell! Uh... Yeah? I hate liars! Uh -huh. But to be fair, I was pretty mean to you all these years, teasing you and all that. Oh, okay. So, I understand why you did this. I'll try to take it easy on you from now on. Good to hear. I was glad to hear that. Looks like she finally learned her lesson. But for some reason, I was still nervous. The way she was grabbing my shoulders, something wasn't right. But... 
But... You scared me. Why did you lie about this? I'm sorry. I really thought she was your girlfriend. I thought I couldn't hang out with you anymore. You really scared me. Later, Satomi came upstairs to check on us. She brought us some cake. I was still busy apologizing to Rika, though. The cake tasted bittersweet. Aori, what did you do to Kaede? Oh, nothing. She just... nothing. The next day... Hey. What? Why did you get so mad yesterday? What? No reason. But I don't get it. Even if I did have a girlfriend, how does that affect you? I just don't see what... Just shut up! Okay. After that day, she stopped teasing me. But I still didn't know why she got so mad at me that day. Oh well. You smell so sweaty as usual, Kitayama! Do you even shower? Yes, I do, but not every day. Really? I never would have guessed. You smell like sweat every day. You look like trash. You should care more about how you look if you're a girl. I can explain. Not only do you not shower, but you also don't wash your clothes, do you? Uh I can see stains on your uniform. You're filthy and plain. Basically, there's nothing good about you. I'd hate to be you. Don't worry. You couldn't be like her even if you tried. Jeez, they're going all out on her as usual. I'm Yota Oga, a freshman in high school. Everyone always makes fun of Shina Kitayama. It's because of her messy hair, sweaty smell, and her plain looks. But there was an incident that made it even worse for her. Kitayama Shina sounds like Kitanara Shina! <laughs> Everyone laughed at his remark. Her name sounded like the word filthy in Japanese. Because of this remark, Kitayama-san was treated as the filthy girl even if she just showered the day before. Kitayama-san has a part-time job of delivering newspapers in the morning, so she can't help being a bit sweaty. I don't have negative feelings for her like other classmates. It's because I know how kind she is. Oh no! My button came off! When I took off my jacket, I pulled too hard, and one of the buttons came off. Do you want me to sew it on? What? It was the first time Kitayama-san spoke to me. She did smell a bit sweaty, but it wasn't as bad as others were saying. Can I take you up on your offer? I handed her my jacket. Kitayama-san took out a worn-out sewing kit from her bag and sewed my button back on skillfully. That sewing kit... I know. It's so worn out that it's embarrassing. I didn't mean it like that. You take great care of your belongings, don't you? It's just that I can't afford to get a new one. I don't have a father, and we don't have much money. Really? It must be tough. Kitayama-san told me that she had a part-time job delivering newspapers in the morning, and that she was cutting back on living expenses by not taking showers or doing laundry every day. After talking with her, I realized that she was just a normal girl. Hey! Let's play a game! The person who loses has to smell what's inside this bag! I heard someone say that after Kitayama-san went home. He had a bag with P.E. clothes in them. We had P.E. today, and Kitayama-san's name was on the bag. For real? How can you touch that? This is gonna suck for whoever loses. I can't believe they're using her P.E. clothes like that. I felt so upset, so I went up to the group of classmates that I usually didn't talk to. Hey, hand those over. I'll deliver them to Kitayama-san's house. Get out of here. You want to go to her house? I can't believe anyone would volunteer to do that. But actually, that sounds even more interesting. Then will you give that to me? Sure, but you can't tell anybody that I took it. And you better go into her house when you give it back to her. I'm sure the inside of her house is even worse than she is. Okay, I'll do that. I went to the teacher's office and asked for Kitayama-san's address. I found out that her house wasn't that far from mine. I rang the doorbell, but no one answered. I rang it again and waited. Kitayama-san should be home by now. I tried turning the door and it wasn't locked. I entered and tried to call her, but right then, Kitayama-san appeared wearing only her camisole, and we locked eyes. Huh? Ah! Kitayama-san screamed as she bent over and covered herself up. I got freaked out by her scream and ran out of the door. I didn't expect her to have just gotten out of the shower. It was shocking, and it wasn't because she was in her underwear. Kitayama-san looked so different from her usual self, and, and, and she was so beautiful. After waiting for a few minutes, I rang the doorbell again. Kitayama-san answered wearing a t-shirt. Oga-kun, why are you here? 
Her voice sounded a little irritated. Well, I came here to give you this. I handed her the gym bag. You came all the way for this? It seems like I left it at school on accident. Thank you so much. I didn't have an obligation to keep my promise, but I didn't tell her the truth because she thought she forgot it. It would just make her feel bad if I told her that it was for some stupid prank. Okay then, see ya. Wait a sec, I want to ask you something, so will you come inside? I wanted to leave right away, but I felt the pressure from her to stay, and I couldn't say no. I was sitting straight in her room. I wasn't told to do so, but I did it myself. Ogakun, you saw, right? Saw what? Me, in my underwear. She was mad at me. I decided not to make any excuses, and to just apologize honestly. I'm sorry! I'm really sorry! I was apologizing on my knees when I heard her sniffling. Hitayama-san? When I looked up, she was crying. <laughs> I've... <laughs> I've never been seen like that before by another guy. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry. I didn't think that I hurt you that bad. I'll do anything that I can, so please forgive me. I'm really sorry. Uh, anything? She looked at me as if she didn't believe me. Yes, I'll do anything. Maybe I was being too careless, but I just thought that I had to do something to make up for hurting her that bad. She must have understood my sincerity because she stopped crying. Then... Will you be my friend? Is that all? I don't have any friends because of my unique circumstance. But just knowing that I have a friend would give me peace of mind. I would love to be your friend. I wanted to get to know you, too. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Kitayama-san is made fun of every day at school. She didn't show her emotions, so it was hard to tell. But it must have been very tough on her. I have a suggestion. But do you want to do something about the way you look and dress a bit more... Why? You're really pretty. So if you care a bit more about how you look, I think you can prove them wrong. <laughs> I'm such a mess. It would take much more than just a bit of trying. That's not true. You look pretty now. I mean, you're so attractive that secretly, I actually don't want everyone to find out how pretty you are. You don't have to say nice things just because we're friends now, Ogokun. I'm telling you the truth! I tried to convince her, but Kitayama-san was being hard on herself and didn't believe me. She told me that she couldn't take showers more frequently because she needed to save money. And she didn't have the time to care about her looks. It started getting hot even in the morning. Kitayama-san just took a shower yesterday but smelled sweatier than usual. She must have rode her bike because her hair was all messy. Classmates were making fun of her again, as usual. They just don't know how pretty Kitayama-san is when she cleans up. Kitayama-san is sweaty because she's trying hard to help her family. She should be proud of herself. But everyone is making fun of her like that. I wanted to cover for her, but I needed some proof. I didn't have the courage to intervene without that. Is there anything I can do? I wanted to help her. Then I got an idea. I went over to her home once again that evening. Huh? Ogakun, what are you doing here at this time of the day? Have you eaten already? Not yet. Good. Then here, eat this. I gave her the stir-fried vegetable meal that I bought. What is this? I can't accept something like this. She seemed confused. My family owns a restaurant. We have leftovers, so I would like you to have them. If it's from your restaurant, I can't accept this even more. If I accept this, I need to pay you. I made this myself. I'm not good enough yet to serve my dishes to customers. My parents tell me that when I'm good enough to stand on my own, they'll let me cook for our customers. But I haven't reached that level yet, so I wanted you to eat this. It'll help me get practice, too. But the extra effort to deliver this to me... I live fairly close to here. Do you know Oga Diner? Yes, I've been there a while back. That's your place? Yep. So please, accept this. But why would you do all this for me? If you could cut back on dinner costs, I thought you would be able to use that to shower and wash your clothes instead. I just think you should take more care about how you look. Then other people will be nicer to you. You care about me? Is that why you do this for me? That's partly true, but it's not free. What? I told you that cooking your dinner gives me a chance to practice. I want you to give me feedback, and I would be happy if one day, you become a regular at our restaurant. I'm thinking of it as an investment to acquire a new potential customer. 
Of course, it was just a joke, but she smiled for me. Hmm. In that case, I'll give you a strict evaluation. I'll help you earn your parents' approval. You don't have to hold it back. Harsh evaluations can give me a chance to get better. But Kijayama-san never criticized my food and seemed like she enjoyed it very much. Compared to what my parents serve at the restaurant, one probably could notice the difference. But I wasn't a terrible cook either. I cooked dinner for her every day, and she started taking showers every day too. She cared more about the way she looked and dressed. Other classmates didn't make fun of her that much anymore. A week later... Oh, a ginger pork meal today! Kijayama-san welcomed me at the door. She had just showered and looked very pretty. She still had to work her morning part-time job, so she hasn't showed her best self at school yet. It was something that only I knew about. Thank you, Ogakun. Thanks to your meals, people haven't harassed me at school as much. You're pretty, so you had no reason to be made fun of like that in the first place. Thank you for always giving me compliments. I'm just telling you the truth, you know? But if everyone realized how pretty she was, she would be popular, and we might not be close anymore. I didn't know if I should be happy about that or not. Is something troubling you, Ogakun? What? You looked so serious. No, it's nothing. I wanted to get back at our classmates first, but I was starting to hope that I could just keep her to myself. It would be better for her to get along with her classmates, though. Ogakun. Kitayama-san gently hugged me. Kitayama-san? When she hugged me suddenly, I felt my heart skip a beat, but the words that came out of her mouth weren't what I had expected. If you want to put an end to our relationship, you can tell me any time. I've relied on you too much. I would rather go back to being just one of your classmates if I'm being too much of a burden to you. What are you saying? Uh, weren't you looking for a way to end this relationship? No way. Why are you always so hard on yourself? You have to have more confidence in yourself. Then why do you seem so troubled? Kitayama-san had become pessimistic after the years of bullying by her classmates that she endured. I made up my mind to tell her honestly how I felt about her. I like you, Kitayama-san. I like you so much that I don't want to share you with others. At this rate, you'll become so pretty and you'll get more attention from other boys. I don't want that, so I was secretly hoping that you wouldn't get prettier anymore. I know I'm pathetic. Oh, you cared about me that much, Okakun? It's true that I'm attracted to your beauty, but honestly, I've noticed you from before that. I noticed you ever since that day that you sewed my button back on. I was amazed at how kind you were despite all of those kids harassing you. I'm so flattered. I like you too, Ogakun. I told you that I want you to be my friend. But to be honest, I wanted you to be my boyfriend. You were the only one who treated me normally. I've been in love with you for a long time. Then does it mean that we started to like each other around the same time? <laughs> I guess so. After I found out that our feelings were mutual, I couldn't help but smile with relief. I feel stupid for being troubled. Me too. I was scared that you might not like me anymore. I was trying as much as I can to take care of my looks so that you wouldn't hate me. You did that for me? To me, what you think of me was more important than what the other kids think of me. It was only me who wanted to get back at others. I assumed she was trying hard to get back at them as well. But she was doing all of this for me. Hearing that, I liked her even more. Kitayama-san, will you go out with me? I would love to. Kitayama-san kissed me on my lips. We misunderstood each other a little, but the reality was, we wanted the same thing. A few months later, she quit her part-time job delivering newspapers and started working part-time at our restaurant. She took a shower before work, so she looked pretty every day. And she attracted customers and our sales went up. Later, we got married and took after the business. But I'll save that story for another time.